social media giant TikTok is facing a civil lawsuit from Law and Home Affairs Minister K. Shanmugam after it failed to assist Mr. Shanmugam in identifying three users who had each allegedly uploaded a video spreading false allegations about him. On Tuesday, November 28, today, obtained copies of three affidavits filed by Mr. Shanmugam's lawyers from Wong Partnership, which detailed the allegations that he has repeatedly dismissed as false and baseless. The affidavits were filed in support of Mr. Shanmugam's application for court orders requiring TikTok to produce documents and information that would help to identify the users involved. The affidavit stated that TikTok had refused to provide Mr. Shanmugam with the basic personal information of the three users unless a court order was obtained. In a response to today's queries, TikTok's lawyers at Roger Tan said that they were not able to provide any comment on the matter. Today, has also reached out to Mr. Shanmugam's legal team for their response. On August 13 this year, a TikTok user with the username trusted.seller allegedly uploaded a video which contained two images with the caption, Give him a defamation suit sister, hashtag minister, hashtag SG, hashtag viral, hashtag ex-wife. The images were of two screenshots, one of which appeared to be of a Facebook page that responded to the search term K. Shanmugam ex-wife by displaying an image of Mr. Shanmugam and his former wife. The other was a screenshot of a forum post which contained allegations against Mr. Shanmugam that were attributed to a former Mrs. K. Shanmugam. Two days later, on August 15, another TikTok user with the username Therakasin purportedly uploaded a video containing an image of a Facebook post which featured an article published by Celebs Critic. Com that included false and defamatory statements about Mr. Shanmugam. While the video did not directly link back to the article, it displayed the headline in full, highlighting Mr. Shanmugam's alleged extramarital affair with Member of Parliament Fumi Ha. He has since commenced separate proceedings against celebcritics.com over the published article and on September 15, the state courts declared that the article contained false statements about Mr. Shanmugam. And the website was given a stop publication order. The third TikTok user referred to in Mr. Shanmugam's affidavit went by the username Thaddeus Thomas 81 and allegedly posted a video on August 17, which was purported to be about the minister with the caption, clarifications and a look at who is the wife and alleged mistress. The video also contained an image, among others, of Miss Fumi Ha with the words, alleged affair with MP Fumi Ha. In his affidavits, Mr. Shanmugam states that he has never engaged in such an affair. In an effort to clarify the false allegations, Mr. Shanmugam took to Facebook, where he said that the allegations attributed to his former wife were, in fact, written by an imposter. Mr. Shanmugam stated that his ex-wife had told him that she did not write them and that it was an imposter who made up the allegations. The minister also clarified that the allegations of his supposed affair with Ms. Fu were false and baseless. His affidavit cited an August 18 mothership article as well that detailed the apologies made by two individuals who published similar allegations. Following the discovery of the videos, Mr. Shanmugam had engaged lawyers to ask TikTok to take immediate action to disable access to the videos. The request also asked for TikTok to provide the three users basic subscriber information. However, TikTok responded in an email saying that they were unable to disclose the information in the absence of a court order or other legal requirement. Even though TikTok did not provide assistance, Mr. Shanmugam's lawyers were still able to try to reach out to two of these TikTok users through Facebook requesting that they remove the videos and provide a written apology. But no response was received. As Mr. Shanmugam has been unable to ascertain the identity or address of the three TikTok users, he has been unable to commence legal proceedings directly against them. In his affidavits, 
Mr. Shanmugam stated that the request for the documents and information would help lead him to the user's identities and it is proportionate to require TikTok to produce them. In using TikTok, the users have agreed not to publish any material that is deliberately designed to provoke or intended to harass, harm, hurt, distress, embarrass or upset people. But this was breached by the three users when they uploaded the videos, he said.